Hey guys, welcome back. So another Citrix video. Awesome stuff because it deals with virtualization and all the goodness. Uh, today, guys, I'm going to show you what or how to create a new pool. Yes, P-O-O-L, pool. Now, as you can see on my Zen server, I have a library. But my BNC doesn't have a library. But let's say I want to access this library in BNC. Now to do that, I actually have to create a new storage, a new SIF, and mount this particular network drive to this Zen server, right? Uh, I can't access it, so if I create a new virtual machine right now, and let's go next, next, I can't access it. The only, the only Zen server that can access it is A, okay? Uh, the only way that I can retrieve this into B and C is I have to add a new storage. I don't really want that. That's when pool comes into play. So because A already has a library, I'm going to make A the primary source of the pool. So what you do is just click on, you know, make sure your primary Zen server is selected. Click on new pool. Give it a name. Let's, uh, I'm going to give it BJ Tech news just BJ tech news and then you add all the members that you want in your new pool now you got a drop down menu of which one you want the master again I'm gonna pick a because a is the only one that has the library and I'm gonna do is click create pool as you can see it starts adding everything inside the pool which is awesome and it's shutting everything down there it goes pretty soon you will see everything green but uh, as you can see my BJ tech news library is now within this group now the question is if I create a new virtual machine inside B will I see my library so let's let's check it out so what I'm gonna do is right click on B create new virtual machine just click next next and if I click on this drop down, I should see my library. And there you go. That is the whole point of the, the pool. But the pool has so many other options that it's just crazy that I just can't go over in this video. So future videos, I'm going to show you a little bit more of what the pool can do. So I'm going to show you a little bit now. So if you right click on the name of the pool, you're able to do high availability, manage V apps, do disaster recovery, which is awesome. Those are the three options that I... Uh, are three features and I'm going to show you in future videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, video on how to create a pool and what a pool is. And uh, leave any comments or concerns at the comment section. Please give me likes and i catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.